uh, I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure people talked about it before. Maybe not in the words I use. I use it very plainly or uh, in simple terms. I mean, I mean uh, as far as the human species uh, and the world is concerned, when we, when humans were on here, or everybody else that just you know tries to be human, you know. But uh, as far as us, I don't think we ever had any peace. There was never any peace on Earth, you know. And even if there was no war, wars going on, peace between uh, each other. I mean, really simply put, I'm not even talking about uh, governments and taking over land or sanctions or, you know, uh, on a state level, uh, people getting arrested. This, I mean, on a city level, personal level, people get arrested. There's people getting murdered or, again, you know, people get, getting their, their things stolen and, you know, being evacuated from homes. People losing stuff, losing money, people losing their lives, right? So, I mean, we never had any peace on earth. I mean, um, you know, there's no world war as far as uh, nations against nations, but there is a world war. There always has. I mean, you can, if you have world peace, like the, the governments are uh, not being in a war or, you know, military being used, that's great. But that's just, that's just uh, the, 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 the first layer of it, I believe. I mean, that's pretty bad that there is a war to, to begin with. I mean, the, and I'm not gonna. I should maybe I shouldn't go into, you know, the the Ukraine Russian debacle, but you know the 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 war that is going on and people dying. But can you imagine just how hateful you have to be? It's a it's a they're independent nations and basically independent people, and they're just legally just shooting each other, killing each other. It, it's it's an attack. It's a murder, and they're murdering each other nonstop. But it just I can, can you imagine just you know. What would happen? I mean, you know, the police would come and, you know, uh, arrest a person or, you know, put it in a place or just, you know, I mean, you know, there's body bags going around, but it just, on a simple level, it just, you know, it's, uh, it's just unimaginable. But then it goes, it goes all over the world, you know? And uh, it's just right there in your face, it's happening. Um, you know, I don't, I don't authorize for the world police, but I think maybe it'd be a good idea, you know? I just, I just, it's, and it, maybe it's just, you know, a part of me thinks, I've, I've been thinking like, you know, a little child that's like, well, why is this happening? But, but they're right, it's like, why is this happening? You know, somewhere along the lines, we, you know, we lose that and we just like, well, because, you know, these guys, we rationalize. You know, it's a part of the rationalizing, you rationalize and, you, you know, you, you try to get, you, you, you can learn being an adult or go to school and give details about a subject matter or a war, but it doesn't make it any more valid or moral. You know, it's just that when we're not used, we just, we can't comprehend that the adults would treat each other like that. You know, and somewhere along the lines, you know, it's that animal farm. You know, we turn to uh, Napoleon over there and his little comrades to a certain degree, even if we don't want to, we just become complacent to it. You know, we become desensitized to it. But, you know, as far as humanity, there was never any really peace. Even to the smallest uh, extent. You can, uh, you know, slip uh, on the stairs or like sprain your ankle. I get it. That's a, that's a form of evil that's happened to you. It's your carelessness. But, you know, even, I mean, that's, you know, that just happened by accident. But as far as, as far as us doing it to each other, you know, there was never really any peace. So it's just kind of, you know, mind boggling, you know, to, to just to think of that. And people said we want world peace. World peace on a military level would be great. You know, economic level would be great. On a healthcare level, would be great. On a personal, would be great. You go outside, you know, people will take your lives out there for stupid reasons. Even even if they had a valid reason, it's still stupid to do that. I mean, it, it's just it's just unimaginable how you know you could just there is a war because you could lose your life by another human being. So that's a that's a war, you know. I mean, there's people out there that don't like to walk out at night. And I just, I don't think it's because night, because who knows what could happen. People hide easily at night. You know, people, people's homes get burglarized. It's like, you know, it's like your, your assets, your, your, your domain isn't safe. It could be attacked at any moment. Even though you have protection, it happens all the time. And I'm not going to uh, look at a nation, how it's, a, it's an entity, and you're an entity, and you're, 
your 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 place of rest is an entity, but he gets to attack. He gets to attack over and over again. You know, and then people attack you uh, on a psychological, emotional level, like you wouldn't believe. You have to fight back, but it's just you know, after a while, you just get tired, exhausted. You know, you, be, you become it's like you know, it's like you know, you, you start to see things for what they are. Like in a time of war, would you just be you know, lay back and just. Uh, just enjoy life, or you always have to be tense and, and you know on the lookout. I mean, I'm not paranoid. I'm not tense on, on the lookout like that, but that's how I see the world, you know. And uh, yeah, it just it's pretty disturbing. It's pretty disturbing, you know how how evil and selfish people can just you know take over the world and uh, put it put it at a risk.